Welcome to every shot from an 18 handicappers round. We have a cart guys, so that's gonna help out. Starting off on this long par three now for this round. Uh, this is one of the ones which I think is gonna be hard to pass. All right, I'm actually gonna try my hybrid on this one now. For those just tuning in, we are doing 100 holes and trying to par every hole at least once throughout the day. You'll know I'm starting to fatigue a bit now. New ball, new round. New me? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, fat is it. How do you fat a hybrid like that? All right, is what it is. At least I don't have to walk to it. All right, not the start that I was after. <laughs> oh, it's with the wind actually, 90. Take the 52 again. Be nice to get this one close. Oh, fin to win at the back. But yeah, uh, shout out to Wellsford and Adele at the reception who gave me the cart and also the Powerade which I've devoured. Um, but yeah, back at the green, let's go. Chip in for par, could be possible need to land it like here hope it rolls out oh it's so much better with the car I have to go in for those first two 60 degree come on roll out get off ah oh, pretty much landed it where I wanted to just a little short actually uh, downhill left to right greens are pretty quick now ah oh, see I've missed In for a double. Okay, this uh, is a drivable par four. Don't even need to hit it that hard, so just a smooth one with the driver. Also don't have the energy to hit it hard, so. Oh yes, get the roll, roll, roll. Nice. Yes, come on. Cheeky little snack review. We've got a jam donut protein bar. Pretty solid, easy to eat, and uh, yeah, probably eight out of ten for the protein bars. Can't go wrong. And that ball is going to be right up next to the green, and hopefully no trees blocking it for once. <sighs> nearly drove the green. Well, drove it past the green, but nearly got it on the green. Not a bad start. Can we sink it in for eagle? I think I'm allowed to move that tuft of grass. If not, I have deal with it. <laughs> that is so bad. <sighs> Damn it. Right, let's hopefully take our time. I think there's an in for birdie. It's going right to left. Oh, just slipped in. That's our fourth birdie of the day. Yes. Still tired though. But we should hopefully recover a little bit with the cart. Uh, the other thing the cart's doing is giving me a little bit of shade, which is very nice. But yeah, onto this nice par five again. Done pretty well on this hole so far. And I also have also jinxed myself quite a few times, so. <laughs> Let's see how we go. Same again with the driver would be lovely. Oh my God, I'm absolutely creaming it on this hole. That's bouncing in the middle of the fairway as well. Still rolling. Still rolling. Wow. Yes, get in. The cart is rejuvenating me. So after hitting our best tee shot of the round, the mic ends up cutting out. We've got the six iron here, which I pushed slightly off to the right. And unfortunately that tree is going to come into play. So just hoping we can go find this one. I uh, rocked up to the trees and zoomed in and just sat on the edge of the trees is my ball. Had to weasel my way into the tree, just try and get a shot here. After struggling a little bit, I opted to change club, going for the five iron instead of the seven iron. Just if I hit it a little bit, hopefully it rolls towards the green. As you can see, I'm holding quite far down on the shaft and I just kind of punch it out. The main thing is it came out and now I've got a little chip onto the green. So chipping on to give myself an effort at par, which is quite unfortunate considering the tee shot we had on that one, although it didn't roll out as much as I wanted it to. And again, the putt comes just short, but we tap it in for bogey. Yep. <clears throat> ah, frustrating to turn that one into a bogey. Onto the second par five now, this one uphill. We've not hit a good tee shot on this one all day. 
and we found that tree once more, forcing us to play up the left fairway. Hit this one pretty clean and just get away with not hitting those trees somehow, and it's going to set us up nicely for the next shot. All right, went and shot the distance from the fairway, showing like 151. We're going to take an eight iron, hopefully get over the tree, and hopefully it gets kind of close. Did not get over the tree. Ah, had the line. It was a risky play, but uh, had to try and get the par on that one. Hopefully I don't mess up the drive on the next effort at it. Okay, gonna take the danger line and hopefully get through that tree gap. Uh, going with the five iron. Oh my God, I've done it. Go, go, go ball, go. That was so close to hitting the tree. That is definitely not a shot I'd recommend. Uh, if only that was fairway, might have come through, but that's some thick rough there. It would have got eaten up. There's no way it got out of it. Oh, I actually can't. Okay, here it is. All right, yeah, so some very thick rough. On the green, can't ask much more from me there. All right, uh, putt for bogey. Come on, start coming in now. Come in now. Ah, there it is. Ah, I just need a good tee shot on that hole, man. I'm not parred this one either. Had the distance both times, just uh, went off to the left the first time, right the second time. Third time lucky, they say. Four left! And that's the worst one of the day at that hole. That was such a bad tee shot. That's right, we got a clean sight of the green. Let's try and land it on the middle. Sixty degrees sit there. Got a putt for par, we'll take that. Come on, we're not parred this one yet. It's a pretty good attempt here. A little like five footer. Right to left. Let's hopefully just drain it in. Yes. Another par ticked off. Come on. <laughs> Especially that t-shirt. Okay, it's into wind. Smacked it. Oh, I'm going to be blocked by that tree, I think. We have parred this hole before. We technically birdied it in the other video. Uh, for those that watched the previous video, found the ball which uh, I drilled into that bush. Does this get over is the question. 60 degree might get over it, but I don't think I get the distance. Well, got over it, but uh, should have just punched out. Got lucky it's come through this tree and I've got a clear sight at the flag. Uh, so I'm just gonna go a little 52, land it just before it should roll on. Or straight at it. We'll take that, we'll take that. Yes. <laughs> Place the divots, boys. I think it's just a simple one, just onto the right side. Come in. Oh yes. <laughs> The back right, we've snuck it in for a par. Yes. Oh, so much better with the cart. Feel refreshed a little bit. All right, we hit 52 at this uh, twice already and hit the green twice. Oh, what a hit. Oh, what an unlucky bounce. I was like, yep, that's on the green. That serves me right being too cocky. It's bounced like five meters backwards. Just when you think you nailed it, you haven't. <laughs> ah, that's what I did. It bounced just there and then flew over here and it's in the bunker. But also that lip's in the way. Oh, <laughs> oh the spin as well. That is so lucky. I like bladed it, well, hit up on it out it hit the actual flag because of the wind and then spun back a little bit as well. Oh, I've made a bit of a mark in the ball. Downhill left to right, this is going to roll quite a bit. That needs to come in, it's not. Wow, that's miles long. All right, it should be pretty straight now though. Just snuck it in. 
from the ball. <laughs> Ridiculous bunker shot using the flag. Who would have thought? All right, into the wind. Driver in hand. Nice smooth drive at this. <laughs> Can you see it bouncing back? God's sake. Five iron up to the corner is the hole, is the goal here. Yep. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, uh, nice smooth five iron on that one. And I'm right in the middle of the dog leg. Last time I was a little long, so I'm with a pitching wedge. Oh, damn it. Such a nice five iron. Terrible pitching wedge. I'm gonna go with the 52 over the 60. A little bit more roll out, I'm thinking. Just land it just before the green roll and go in the go in the hole. That's the that's the goal. And roll into the hole, like I said. <laughs> Close. Close enough. Alright, this is a pretty straight putt. So hopefully we can drain this in. Nice! That putting range has been pretty solid for me so far. Head over to the first hole again. All right, okay, nine iron at this one. You have to pick up the pace a little bit. Oh, come on, be the number. Oh, I think it landed on too much of the downhill, boosted to the back. Yeah, landed at the top just before the green and just got too much of a kick. Yeah, I'm going to putt just because I think I won't be able to get a good wedge shot on there. Get there. Sit. We'll take it. I can't remember if I've parred this hole or not. To go for. We'll treat it as though I've not got it. It's always good to get a par anyway. Nice! I think I've only missed one of those today. Touch wood. All right, that's nine holes. All right, another bit of a nemesis hole, this one. I've hit that tree. I just don't want to hit a tree, I think. All right, come on, driver, little smooth one. Kind of hurt my wrist, but that is down the middle. Take that. Smooth eight iron at this one. Ah! Right, it's sat in this thick rough. It's gonna go up to the left of the pin because it should roll. Back down. And this is a nasty putt downhill. I'm not sure if we have to stop this. <sighs> Missed it by a bit. In for boogie. We'll take it. I wonder how many times I said that today. And uh, just a quick reminder, um, the reason we're doing this is for Cancer Society NZ. Um, if you want to donate to a good cause, the link is in the bio below. And uh, we'll move on for the next hole. All right, par four. Got the wind with us here. If we can connect well, it would be good. Oh, that's going to be decent. Oh, what a bounce. That might actually have maybe got the green. That bounced so high. Had to pause for a quick uh, charge break for the devices. And uh, that was a nice little break because it seems to have recharged me. The way that ball was bouncing, if that had the line, that could be up on the green. It'd be another thing to tick off for the day. We've got the chip in. Um, Got a birdie. Be nice to get an eagle. And uh, obviously the ultimate one would be a hole in one. But uh, I'm not gonna hold my hopes out for that. Yeah, look at that. It's one, two, three, four, like five feet short. Need to get on the top shelf. So I'm thinking I'll putt it. Just because if I do anything and hit it into that bank, it's gonna slow up. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. Yes. Get in. Oh. 
the scenes. Oh, I was going to say, I've not missed any of these today. And I was like, don't say it, but I'd already fought it, so I may as well say it at that point. Okay, a little tap in for bird. Ooh! <laughs> Nearly pushed it off to the left, but another birdie, yes! All right, the pace is going to have to pick up due to I need to make most of the time with the cart. It's high. Down the middle though, that's all that matters. All right, let's take the five iron at this one. Slightly downhill is the only issue. Oh, I'll get over the tree. God damn it. That was a bad shot. That was a bad shot. <laughs> oh, I really didn't need to go for the five iron either. Right, that's actually pretty lucky. It must have hit this tree. Bounce down here because I thought I was going to be in that fairway over there. Uh, I'm going to take a 52, try and go over that big tree right in front of us. Oh, get there. Hoping that I'll bounce onto the green. Just got caught in the rough. Probably needed a bit more before the wind would take it, the extra distance. Need to land it just before the green on this one. I uh, landed it just a little too far, but we have a putt for par. Wow, I thought it would come in. Didn't even move. Oh dear. <sighs> I was thinking about saying it, didn't say it, and lipped it out. Brilliant. Hello, cow. Grass is always tastier on the other side, eh? I think that's like Bob wire sticking his head through. Cows are mad. Oh, now I see me. Yeah, that's barbed wire, mate. He's like, I do not care. Good day to you, sir. All right, I know I need to par this one. Uh, this time I'm gonna go seven iron. Uh, better to be long than in those bunkers, I think. Well, <clears throat> every time I've gone off to the left, Every time I'm going to have to try and chip over that bunker again. Okay, 60 degree onto the green. I'm just going to go to the left of the bunker, so I hopefully take that out of play. What are the chances of hitting that branch? I didn't even think that that was a possibility. Damn it! Ah, oh, okay, downhill green. If I land it just on the green, it should roll to the hole. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, still not part of it. But I can put this one in with a 60 degree and still not miss it, so <clears throat> we'll take that. Oh, I hope that uh, it records and sorts itself out. All right, I've missed left both times on this hole. Sit down. Sit down. I missed off to the right that time. Found it, I will be moving that stick. I don't care if it is not the rules. It is my rules for today. <coughs> okay, technical issues, but we kind of resolved it. We just can't use the mic right now. I'm gonna go with the 52 degree and hopefully chip it, run it up. Bad. Just remember, we've not parred this one. This is for par. Oh, that is so soft. In for bogey. Alright, we're going to take the 8 iron at this one again. I think through the distance. Oh no. I've seen the splash there, that's in the water. Alright, I'm actually not too sure. Uh, what yellow stakes mean, but I'm just going to drop a point of entry and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't have the time to be wrong. Oh dear. Ah, no! It's gone way short, so it's going to be another chip and then a butt.
about time we got a blow up hole. Car four driver in hand. Big bounce as well, yes, yeah, get in. Not part this hole either, so it's good to be in the fairway. Have a chance at it. Missed the birdie putt, but got the par. This hole has been a bit of a nemesis hole. Let's hope we get a good drive. This honestly probably doesn't need a lot, so I'm just going to take a 7 iron. Uh, that was much closer than I thought it was going to be. Fair the opportunity squandered. I think we're going to putt this to be safe. Get in. Okay, part four, throw to the right. I hope to never play that hole again. That's drive down the middle. We'll take it. So yeah, I needed to... Oh, God, nearly fell out of the car. <laughs> anyway, last hole. Let's see if we can par this one because I've not parred it yet. I'm actually probably going to punch it towards the green just to hopefully not go long and into the road. For a second I thought I was going to go in the road, but not on the road. So controversial one here, didn't want to chip into that tree, need to get close to the pin. So I'm opting with the Texas Wedge. Pretty uncommon for me to use this club from here. However, that one's turned out quite nicely. Maybe I'll consider using it more often. That's a good effort. That is a good effort. Come on. This could be the best effort I get at this all day. Let's not mess it up. Come on. Nice hole of the video as well. Yes! Oh yes, good part to end on, tick this one off, yes. Um, right, I'll catch you tomorrow for the next part of the video, which is going to be interesting because I'm going to be using my old clubs, $50 clubs. Stay tuned.